Instead of playing E7 like this, try this. So I'm going to start with this E7 chord as my reference point. I got the root, the fifth, the flat seven, and the third. Now, if I take the root away, I'm going to have a G sharp diminished triad on strings two, three, and four. Now, G sharp is the seventh chord in the key of A. And again, the seventh chord with the bass on the five chord, five chord dominant. In this case, E7. Now, to start, I'm just going to use the G and the B string. That's the flat seven and the third. I'm going to come from a half step below from the six and the flat three. Half step up to that flat seven and major third. Now, just this slide is a really funky move. So a good practice will be to learn all your diminished triads, relay them to the 5 chord, and then try to find the flat 7 and the 3rd and bring it from a half step below. So for example, G sharp diminished, strings 1, 2, and 3. I got the flat 3, the flat 5, and the root. I'm going to relay that triad to E. E7. Root, 5th, flat 7, and 3rd. I'm going to locate that flat 7 and the 3rd, and I'm going to slide it from a half step below. Now I'm going to transpose that all over the neck. so on. Now from here I'm going to borrow two minor chords in the key of A. B minor, the 2 chord, and C sharp minor, the 3 chord. Now B minor over E, I got the flat 7, the 9, and the 5th. And C sharp minor over E, I got the root, I got the 3rd, and I got the 13th. Then I'm going to go to this voicing, E7, root, 3rd, flat 7. So far I have this. Now from here I'm going to go to this E7 chord. And again, here I can see the G-sharp diminished triad again. It's just that this time I'm going to have a spread triad. I have the root here, I got the flat 5, and I have the flat 3rd, one octave higher. This time the E is not on the bass, but I have that E on the 5th fret of the B string. So now I have an E7 chord here. And then I'm going to go again to this G-sharp diminished with the bass on E, E7. And to finish on the second repetition, I'm going to go to this E9 chord. It's a really nice chord here. I got the flat 7, I got the 9, I got the 3rd, and I got the root on the melody. Now, if I put all that together, at the end I have these.